back to the Sports Mag Zone. The track is where we begin. The 3rd of August 2024 at the Paris Olympic Games will forever be etched in the memory of Julian Alfred and the island of St. Lucia. Alfred delivered her country's first ever Olympic medal by winning the 100 meters in a national record 10.72 seconds. She also carved a 200 meter silver in Paris in a stunning year that saw her also claim the Diamond League title over 100 meters and the World Indoor 60 meter title back in March. Alfred will return to the island on Tuesday, September 24. And the government of St. Lucia, having already declared September 27, Julian Alfred Day, will be going all out to celebrate her historic achievements. Joining us on the Sportsmax Zone to share more on the celebrations planned is the Honorable Kenson Casimir, Minister of Sport. Minister Casimir, welcome to the Sportsmax Zone. So happy you can join us. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Of course, we are beaming with excitement here in St. Lucia as we get ready for a celebration, a whole week of activities planned for our beautiful island as we welcome home our star. Yes, star indeed. I love how you put that. And you know, before we get into the celebrations and everything that will be in store, I just want to take you back to those watch parties that, of course, you and your administration put on the day that Julian Alfred was set to run. Just the feeling that the St. Lucians had when they recognized what achievement she had accomplished. Well, I was actually in Paris. I was filming, I was looking, I saw the semi-final, and I saw how comfortable um, she really was in that uh, semi-final heat against Shikari Richardson. And of course, I am one of those who came from a track and field background as a 100 meter sprinter. And uh, I really felt that uh, she was ready for that final. I had never seen her so comfortable, so confident, so calm. Um, but back home, I mean, once you look at what happened, I mean, it's just palpable what happened around the island. The anticipation was there from even before the World Championship. So the administration under the St. Lucia Labour Party and Philip J. Pierre, we put together those watch parties north, south, east and west of the island. And we encourage all business places to pretty much come together and uh, provide other individuals the opportunity to come to their bars, uh, come to their restaurants. And we pretty much ensured that the island was all paying attention, every single individual. We advertised the time. Uh, we ensured that persons gathered together because we knew that history was on the horizon and Julian Alfred did not disappoint. I mean, there was carnival activities in my constituency of Grosley that literally halted when Julian Alfred was running in that final because we knew what was about to happen. We've seen her at the Youth Olympics conquer gold for St. Lucia, our very first Youth Olympic gold medal. And we felt that Julian Alfred had, had, had matured into that sort of elite athlete on a global stage that would accomplish what she just accomplished. And so you see the scenes of euphoria throughout the length of breath of St. Lucia. And we're expecting that when she comes home, come Tuesday, that euphoric atmosphere will be felt by her as the fans and, of course, all St. Lucians get to finally see her and tell her what she has done and what, what she has done means to them. Yeah. And, you know, I have to ask you about your personal pride because it's a big, big deal. And I know you must be feeling good inside. First Minister of Sport under whose tenure you have an Olympic medalist and not just an Olympic medalist. We're talking about gold and silver. What does this mean for you, for your administration? And are you so motivated now to ensure that you pick up some more medals for the upcoming events that are in store? Absolutely. And we've had we've had serious conversation over the last three years about the development of sport on the island. And of course, we were the first government to put in a budget of close to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, a quarter of a million dollars to ensure the transition um, from a collegiate athlete into a professional athlete was as smooth as possible for Julian Alfred in terms of her training, her mental fitness, her physiotherapy and uh, pretty much taking care of those things in the background that would allow her to focus solely on bringing home that gold medal for St. Lucia 
And uh, if you look at the, the, the thrust for sports development in St. Lucia, the Darren Sammy Cricket Grounds uh, pretty much reflects a global stage right now in terms of uh, preparation, in terms yeah. of pitch, outfield, in terms of the stadium. It really is a, a step in the right direction as it pertains to what we can offer to the region and the world. Yes. And this, this is the administration that brought in a semi-professional football league in St. Lucia that is currently at the business end. And of course, we've ensured that we put together high performance performance uh, cricket center uh, for St. Lucia. And we decided very early that the, our island champs were going to be moved from uh, the school championships that reflects what happens in Jamaica. It's moved from during the week because we realized parents corporate society were not able to attend the inter-school championship. And so we move it to the weekend and we called it Island Champs. And we've, we are about to have our third year. And so there is a, a cultural shift. There's a desire for more and more sports development in our nation. And Julian Alfred coming out and doing what she just did is by, it's no accident. We know um, the journey she had, the hard work she put in, and she deserves all the credit. But as an island, we continue to promote sports. We, com we continue to encourage individuals to right. move away from that six and seven and gangs, but come to this, the playing field and really work on harnessing your skills. And this government is providing as much support as we can. And so yeah. it's no surprise that Julian Alfred is doing what she's doing. And we only looking forward to more. Um, we have another athlete on the horizon, Naomi London, just moved over um, to a University of Texas, just as Julian did. She didn't take the same trek in terms of going over to Jamaica, but uh, her family and the, the association felt that she was mature enough to move from St. Lucia's High School straight into the University of uh, Texas, where uh, a year ago she broke Julian Alfred's junior record. And so we expecting that this is another athlete that will do us proud as a nation. Yeah, of course, Julian Alfred Day announced for the 27th of September. Just want some clarification as to whether um, this national holiday will just be for 2024 or it will be an annual holiday. Well, it's going to be for 2024. What we are going to do is we are going to ensure that the date that she actually uh, got the gold medal, that we have an athletic event yearly, um, to pretty much celebrate her and to look to have, you know, talent identification. We are looking forward to having uh, on our our annual calendar uh, a Julian Alfred Invitational, and we are hoping that we can have it circled around that time of year for for her to probably be on island and for the best in the world to be on island participating in a national event. But the cabinet of ministers felt that uh, with the number of holidays we already have on our calendar, that it may not be necessary to have it annually, but we are going to have it this year and uh, ensure that every year we do something in uh, memorial to what she just did for our great nation. Yeah, sounds fantastic. I've seen a number of suggestions on social media and in fact on some government pages as well in St. Lucia um, making that very suggestion that Julian Alfred Day should be more than just a day. There should be a number of events um, that really acknowledge um, the amazing performance, the historic performance that she delivered in Paris. So it sounds pretty good and it sounds as if the, your government is thinking along the same lines at this stage. Absolutely. And of course, um, like I spoke about, the rebranded Island Champs, um, we expect him to really use her as a motivating factor to get more and more um, young people involved in track and field. Um, we're certainly hoping that uh, with her foundation, we've started discussions on a scholarship um, that would be in her honor so that um, young people that are, you know, both academic and doing well in sport could benefit from the support um, from Julian Alfred. And there are a number of other initiatives that we have on stream uh, as long as we uh, rebuild our national stadium. Well, there is a lot in store to really memorialize uh, what and who Julian Alfred is to St. Lucia. Yeah, and of course, Mariah is coming across to St. Lucia next week to follow um, everything that will be happening in terms of honoring Julian. Um, but can you just give us a reminder of what the week is going to look like? She arrives in St. Lucia on Tuesday, and then you're going to have a fabulous week of activities. Absolutely. She arrives in St. Lucia. Um, she's expected to arrive at 1.56. Uh, of course, she's going to be arriving at the International Airport, which is on the south of the island, and she's going to be making a trek 
I mean, in grand style uh, through the east coast of St. Lucia um, over to her hotel in Le Sport. As a matter of fact, she's coming from the peak of the south all the way to the peak of the north of St. Lucia. And so we're expecting a huge motorcade. Um, the island is beaming with anticipation for the funfair that will occur on that day. The following day, which is the Tuesday, we are going to be having the school's rally. Um, and she's going to be visiting two schools, one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast. And at the school's rally, we will be expecting to hear from her as she seeks to really encourage the next generation of St. Lucians. Um, on the Denry side of the island, which is on the East Coast, um, she will then be passing through the south of the island and making her way to the west coast of the island, which will give an opportunity to uh, motorcade style pass through some other communities. Um, thereafter, she will be making a trek uh, via the waters of the Caribbean Sea um, back up north. Um, and uh, she will be going to the governor general's house uh, for a very, very special ceremony meeting with the governor general and other dignitaries. And uh, that night is expected to be very, 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 very nice for her as well. The following day, she will be um, heading to her alma mater, the Cicero Primary School, where it all started for her, where they will be unveiling a number of things for her at that school, including a very nice monument for uh, Julian Alfred. She's expected to meet with her former teachers, and that should be very, very nice for her as well. And of course, the following day is the big one on the 27th, a national concert. Um, at that concert, we'll be having some of St. Lucia's biggest um, soca artists, reggae artists, local artists, to really come and uh, really have a, a sort of uh, enjoyment, a celebration of Julian Alfred. The corporate sector in St. Lucia will also, throughout the concert, uh, be allowed their five minutes to actually come and announce what gifts they will be given to Julian Alfred as a result of her achievement. Of course, you will have speeches from um, the Minister of Sport and Tourism, um, Honorable Vanessa Lea as well, who is an MP as well. Um, and it's going to be culminated with the big announcement by the Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, where he will be, after the corporate world pretty much serenades her and tells her what they're going to do, the government of St. Lucia will make an official announcement on their gift to Julian Alfred for this remarkable achievement. Yeah, and Minister, there is something that you didn't tell us because you probably cannot tell us, but we understand that there are going to be some surprises as well, but everybody has to stand by to see what those surprises will be, including Julian and Mariah, who will be telling us all about it next week. Right, Mariah? Yeah, can't wait. So, Minister, I'm looking forward to visit St. Lucia. I'll be there on Monday and I can't wait to partake in the celebrations. I want to thank you for stopping by on the Sportsmax Zone, and I'll see you next week. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. And of course, um, enjoy St. Lucia. It's a really, really a beautiful island. And of course, we welcome in all of Sportsmax to be there at any point in time. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much, of course, Minister of Sport in St. Lucia, uh, Casimir over there joining us. And Ricardo, what we know is next week is going to be a lot of excitement. We are Caribbean people. We celebrate Julian Alfred. I was in the office someday just to tell the viewers and everybody was cheering. I'm Trini. I'm in Jamaica. And and I'm like, is there a Jamaican in the race? And then I think it's you who said to me, no, man, we're supporting Juju, Julian Alfred. And I'm like, oh, wow, great. Yeah. And don't forget <laughs> as well that Julian Alfred attended high school in Jamaica, St. Catherine High School, where she did fabulously well for them. So um, a lot of Jamaicans really do love her and respect her. So that was no surprise. Yeah. All right. Break time here now on the Sports Max Zone. And when we come back, we have something to talk about when it comes to the CPL. So much to discuss. Stay with us.